This past July, a group of 20 Groton School students and teachers spent three powerful weeks of service, learning, and friendship in northern Tanzania. Most of our active time was spent at the Arcosta Secondary School in the verdant hills above the village of Manduli, about an hour's drive from the northern city of Arusha. Working alongside Orquesta students, teachers, and staff members, we spent two full weeks helping to renovate and expand this inspiring, dynamic school. We also ate meals together, sang songs together, played sports together, all of which helped us come to a much richer understanding of the larger world and of ourselves. The Orquestra students took us in to show us their lives as scholars, their homes, their massive traditions, and beyond. After experiencing the way the Orquestra students interact with us as newcomers and understanding what a difference it made, I'm hoping to offer myself as they did, a friend first with nothing required in return. What I learned as a Peace Corps volunteer continues to influence how I want to live my life. And being engaged in service learning trips is the most gratifying experience I've had with students during my 25 years at Groton. As the world increases in complexity and interconnectedness, I think it's essential to experience a sense of shared humanity with people whose lives appear very different from our own. I want young people in the developed world to understand that what they might want is different from what they actually need. Although there was more physical labor than I expected, by the end of our three weeks in Tanzania, our work together brought us closer as a group. But more than anything else, I think the Orcaso kids surprised me the most. Not only were they proud of their school and eager to show us around, they were willing to walk hours each day during their vacation to work alongside us. Although Groton students and Orcaso students come from polar opposite backgrounds, we could relate in so many ways. <laughs> Of all the great and unique experiences we had in Tanzania, the most amazing times were spent with the Arcaso kids, talking at tea time, singing while working, or dancing. I quickly learned that our native language or cultural differences no longer mattered when we were laughing or singing everyone's favorite song, Wave and Flag. <laughs> When I get older, I will be stronger. They call me freedom, just like a wave of love. So wave your flag, so wave your flag, so wave your flag. I could not have imagined the bond that would be forged between those of us in the Groton group. I learned more about my friends on the trip than I could in all my time at Groton. The people we met in Tanzania gave me a perspective about who I am as a person. When it comes down to just me, stripped of my background, belongings, grades, everything, I wonder how I would measure up to a lot of the people we met at Orcaswa. This comparison is something I've been thinking about a lot recently, and so far, I think that with them as role models, I'm on the right track. As difficult as it is to put into words, Team Tanzania was a great experience, where I learned how to become a fundi, but more importantly, become friends with those who really aren't so different.